It's been a while, hasn't it? Okay, so back in November, I found out about this opportunity and I spent a lot of time pursuing it because this opportunity would have been the catalyst for me to take that giant leap towards that thing I really want to do. I was supposed to find out whether or not I got this opportunity about a week ago and I haven't heard anything. Now, part of me wants to be positive and say, well, maybe they're letting everyone else know that they didn't get it and you're going to find out soon. You know, save the best for last, right? But then there's that other part of me that knows from experience that typically when you get no answer, that's a no answer. And I don't know how much longer to wait before I decide that, yeah, you didn't get it. You would just figure that they'd be excited to let you know that you were one of the ones who got it and they would tell you. But anyway, so what's so interesting about this moment is that I looked at this opportunity as the perfect opportunity, as in it was perfectly crafted for me. The reason why I say that is in the past year leading up to this, there were so many things that had to happen in a very specific way in order for me to even find out that this opportunity existed. Then, in addition to that, things had to happen in a specific way in order for me to have the time and attention and focus and ideas to develop this thing and pursue this opportunity. So, so many things had to happen in such a specific way. And I was looking at these moments like, why am I here right now? Why, why am I going through this? Like, I mean, real struggles, like real struggles. And I look at it and I go, I don't, I don't get it. Then this opportunity comes up and I go, that's it. That's why. And I start pursuing it. I mean, it is, it, it's everything because I knew that if I had this, I would do so much with it because I was struggling up until this point because I didn't have the opportunity because I was hungry. I mean, so hungry. And I knew that there'd be other applicants for this opportunity, but no one, no matter how much experience they had, no matter how many more resources they had, no matter how much better their material was, nobody was going to have more of a drive. Nobody was going to want it more than I did. Nobody was going to do more with it than I would have. And it comes back to this whole concept of the Believe Project that I started. And that was the whole, the whole idea was I'm going to take no past experience in creating something and I'm going to create something based on the premise that I believe I can do it. Like I, I know what I'm good at. Like deep down, you know what you're good at. And you know that if you had an opportunity to show what you were good at, like a good opportunity to really show it off, then you would do something with it. You would make the most of it. You would really shine. And that's how I felt. I felt that this project, as crazy as it sounds, like what makes you think you can do this? I know I can do it. Just give me a chance and I'll show you. So assuming that it's, it's done, I didn't get this opportunity. Now it puts me in this, this tough moment that I've been in my entire life and that's uncertainty. My entire life has been based on uncertainty. I mean, so much. Moving around a lot, probably not as much as others and growing up with, you know, the family not having much as far as uh, economic resources and my parents saying things like, well, we might be out on the streets one day, things like that. It's too much for a kid. So again, not as bad as some people have it, but still it's, it's all relative. But those moments of uncertainty. And then in my adult life, moving and getting fired from jobs and going through breakups and all these things and not having things figured out the way I wanted to, like not having the career I want or not having the lifestyle I want and not knowing why it's not there. Now, I go through a lot of personal growth and motivation stuff because that's really the only thing that can get me through because there's a lot of times I'm stuck questioning everything. And one thing that I found, one quote is, trust the journey. 
I mean, that's it. It's you look at where you are right now and you're going to be frustrated because you're not where you want to be. I'm not where I want to be right now. And it's so frustrating because I'm doing a lot of the right things. I mean, I'm, I'm making a lot of the hard choices, which are technically the right choices, but they're not paying off. So there's two concepts. It's trust the journey as in you are where you need to be right now. And just if you think you're ready yet, but you're not ready yet, like there's still something else that needs to finish before you can blossom. And then the other part of it is be patient. And I feel like I've been patient. I mean, I'm at this point in my life and I feel like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready now. So it's frustrating. So I'm in this point of uncertainty and there's so many things around me that are, I guess, essentially falling apart. But there's so many things around me that are still good. And I have a lot to consider that I have to be grateful for. So as bad as it seems, it's not as bad as it could be. But again, it's all relative and it's frustrating that uncertainty of not knowing. Like, it'd be nice to know, like, hey, you know, in six months from now, things are going to be great. But we don't have that crystal ball, so we don't know. And it's that not knowing that's so frustrating because at this point, I feel like I'm in a hole. I feel like I've just been like dug into a hole and my hole's not as deep as some others have been in. But again, it's relative. My hole feels like it's huge and I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. Now, conceptually, I shouldn't focus or worry about how I'm going to get out of it, but it's it's my nature. I'm a problem solver. I'm logical. I want to know how to get things done. If there's something that I can fix, I want to fix it. I don't like waiting for something if I don't need to wait for it. I'm very independent. So if I can just go and get after it and get it done, I want to go after it and get it done. And that's why where I felt this opportunity was going to be good for me was it was going to give me the resources that I needed to push and really like really pursue this dream I have. And it wasn't going to be me making it. It wasn't the making it part, but it was the support that I needed to get myself on track. Because I know, I just know that whoever is going to get this, if it's not me, they're not going to do, they don't, ha they haven't been through what I've been through. They haven't been through the fire that I've been through. They haven't had the same experiences. And there's things they've experienced that I haven't, but I just know when it comes to this, nobody, nobody would have done it better than me. So frustrating. And the uncertainty is, is what it just gets under my skin. But what's so interesting is that, like I said, my whole life has been uncertainty. So I'm kind of used to it. And it's almost like this. I, I wouldn't say it's where I thrive, but I'm, I'm good. I'm adaptable. So when things happen like this, I go, hmm, okay. And I mean, there's moments where I, I micro stress. Like a few years ago, I, I, macro stress like I'd stress on big scale but now I just like micro stress I'm like oh there's that thing I gotta I don't know how to fix it that's frustrating I just I, I let it go and I because I, there's nothing you can do at the end of your life you look back on these little moments and this little moment where I'm stressed about this thing or this little moment where I'm stressed about this thing it doesn't matter if just the other day I had food poisoning I was so sick and I didn't care about anything. Nothing mattered. The things that matter the most to me did not matter because all I cared about was getting better. That's it. So, and how bad I felt, I can only imagine. There's probably someone out there who feels that bad on a daily basis. They have some kind of serious illness that causes them to feel like that daily. I felt like that for a day and I didn't want to go on. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is terrible. I can only imagine what other people have to go through. So that person who has to feel that way every day would give anything to feel like that for one day to be in my shoes. So I get it. I mean, I'm, I'm very self-aware about this. I understand it doesn't necessarily make it easier. It's there's a certain point where you go, okay, like I'm putting in a lot of work, like I want to see something like I don't expect the whole thing to break wide open, but just a, just a little bit. So anyway, I had to get that off my chest because it's important to me. It's been something that's been pressing on me. And I think that if somebody watches this and they see this, maybe they can relate to it. Maybe they've been there because I feel like we all have at some point. But 
this was something that was so important to me for the past four months. It's all I could think about. All I obsessed about was this one opportunity. And it's not like I was putting all my eggs in one basket, but like I said, it was so specific. I mean, so many things had to fall into place in the perfect order in order for me to even, like I said, find out about it, let alone actually have time to work on it. I mean, so many things. So to be, you know, a week after or a few days after when I was supposed to find out about it and not even have an answer, I mean, at least a, a, at least an answer is something. At least a no is like, okay, there's closure there. But no answer is like, what's going on? So uncertainty, it's, uh, it's annoying. But uh, I've gotten used to it. I don't like it, but I've gotten used to it. So if you're going through something like this where you're not sure about what's gonna happen, don't stress. Things do kind of work themselves out. And then you just have to put in the work on your end to support what falls apart on the other end when you put your faith in something that's out of your control and it doesn't come together or it falls through, then that's where you have to just continue to build up the strength on your side so that what's lacking on that end, you can more than make up for it on your end. So if it's all completely over with and I don't have this opportunity now, that means I have to just take a different strategy, continue doing what I was gonna do anyway. It's not gonna stop me, it just, it might slow things down. I don't know, but that's it. 